Big Cows here, back with more Let's Play Final Fest 12. In the last episode, we made our way through the Fond Coast, kind of. All the way over to here. And now we are, um. Huh. Where that leads. Oh. But now we are headed out of the, uh, Fond Coast. But first, we do have a little bit of stuff to take care of here. Um, we have the Chocobo Trails, which we can take up here, I believe. Wait, where? Not here. No, I don't know where that leads. I kind of want to find out. Because this map that I have doesn't show anything. Oh, it just takes us right to... Oh, okay, yeah, it just takes us right here. Alright, I'll come back to that in just a moment. I want to buy a map from that Moogle real quick so that we have this whole area done instead of having to go through and explore every little part of it later on, which I still am because I need to complete the best area for this. But where is that map Moogle? Should be somewhere around here. There he is. I want a map. Yay. Hey, you can put the map for this area. Which, as you can see here, the Fond Coast is pretty huge. We only went on one side here. We could have gone that way too. Um, we have this whole long area here, then there, then there, and then we're out. But first I want to show you something over here before we set out. To head out of the Fond Coast. Because you will need this in order to get the uh, best weapon. Well, not do anything, but. Like, it's another set of chests that you can't open if you want to get the Zodiac Spear. Yeah, the uh, Fond Coast actually has like a lot of chests that you can open here too. There are 67 in the whole thing. But yeah, so in the last episode we just made it physically up to the uh, hunter's camp in the Pond Coast. Which, we'll be doing a lot there later on. Surely. Look at that awesome block by Ash. And Penella just takes a huge hit. 
going around that perilous there. Kill the problem over here. Oh, yeah. yeah, just making sure it's problem. Alright, and as you can assume, if you want the best weapon in the game, you do not open any of those chests. Not at all. Because if you do, then no best weapon in the game for you. Unless you go to the human mines and get really lucky with that chest there, but... Like I said before, it's like a 1 in 10,000 chance, so... Probably not going to happen. Let's find that northern path right about here. And then we head off to the east over here. Oh yay, more back of these. Got a level. Make sure I'm in the right area. Yep, just head north here. Uh, stay away from that. Alright. Oh, uh, what do we have to watch out for? Oh, uh, never mind. We already passed by it, so it doesn't matter. But there's an Archaeosaur in that last area that, that we were just in. If you take the uh, other path going from the first camp directly to there, there should be an Archaeosaur walking around. Which is just like an overpowered wild story, and that's all. So yeah, we are closing up on the next area here. Oh, there's an Archaeus sword for you. Oh man. The thing that's like I'm bunch. I could have been that. <laughs> Holy... Um... Okay, that works. How much experience? 20... Almost 2300? Jesus. Okay, so... Yeah, that was, uh... Quite a bit of experience there. Hmm. That works. So that third bag really doesn't come over here. And once we get a little farther in this game, we... Oh, like, um, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with money anymore. Hopefully. Uh, and I didn't really show it off whenever I got it, but here's the platinum sword. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that once we get to our caves, though, there's going to be another sword that we can buy. 
Alright, and here's a save point. But we're only at 10 minutes, so I might as well go to the Kitchjar Uplands. I don't know why I want to go save that. Let's talk to him. Where do you go, Wayfarer? To the east lie the Tichita Uplands. To the north across the plains lies the Sea of Empire Arcades. Myself, I shall go east. To the port town of Valfontheim. I have heard it is a place where men and women value freedom above all else. Alright, um, we will be headed to the Valfontheim port later on. Actually. But our first order of Business is going to Arcades. So we enter the Tichta Uplands. Oh, right. well, we got new enemies, the Corals. This will be oh they're level 37 yeah this is going to be a little more difficult to make it through but we can do it what is that serpent ooh what is serpent we got how much 500 experience per kill here. That works. And these guys aren't really too hard. I mean, if you get a whole pack of them, then you're kind of screwed there. But other than that, it's not too... Okay, maybe it's a little bad. I definitely need to start updating armor on these people because this is not going to work. Yeah, but once I get to, um, what is it? Once I start <coughs> trying to complete the best area, it'll be easy for me to get level up some money of like a lot of it saved up. Let's see what my license points are at real quick. Hey, I can buy that new... Oh, I can't buy that new one for Balter yet. Uh, I can almost complete your gambits. Uh, Balter, I can actually complete his, but... Uh, I'll do it. Alright, he has all of his augments completed there. Fran has all of hers. Uh, bosh, bosh, bosh. He still has quite a bit to go. I'll go with that one. Uh, you're almost done. And now Ash is completed with hers. Vanilla still has a ways to go to. Alright, let's uh, head out in here a little farther. Oh. Alright, let's see where we're headed here. Uh, I don't want to go that way. I want to go south a little ways here. Take this path. And then there's two ways you can go about this path here. But I'm just going to go this way. Huh. <laughs> 
Yeah, honestly, this area is pretty big out here. But, uh, I kind of like it. Oh, that was sort of an after us. Should have a safe point open for us here. Yep, there is. And we have an Arcadian Wayfarer. Wayfair. This week need blind guy is worthless, utterly worthless. Just like every other hunter my father employs. You might have to happen to be a hunter too. I like to hire you to deal with a terrible mess in search of cave house. Um, or what about this dire threat? East of here you come to the highlands. North of there lie the fields of eternity, wherein can be found the entrance to Sochi. The foul scourge I wish to defeat lurks within the cave palace. Many hunters have been sent, and all have come to running home. Incidentally, I have no idea what this scourge is or looks like. No one that returns will speak of it. Intriguing, no? My father, wanting to know the identity of the failed creature, thought to post a bill for the mark, but was refused. Having no other choice, he employed two hunters from the hunter's camp on the pond coast, and sent them into Sochin Gate Palace. A pity they were worthless. I waited with my father at the entrance of the caves and they came running back out moments later. They ran past my father, their employer. Unbelievable. Enraged, I gave chase and was separated from my father. Anyway, I'm glad we've met. Were I to hire better hunters than my father and defeat this uh, monstrosity, oh, the respect I'd earn back in Arcades. So you're hired. Use this key to get into the cavern where you'll find the creature, and no coming back until you sign it. Alright. Question, 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 the hunt begins. Alright, so basically, we need to head to Social Cave House and defeat whatever is there. And this is not an official hunt, so. Uh, we won't. So we'll go ahead and do it because it's part of the storyline anyway. So yeah. But that is it for this episode. So I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, where we will go see if we can find this uh, menace. So see you guys later.